Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Goodwill Bins shoe haul to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So last Tuesday, me and my oldest daughter went to the Goodwill Bins. Uh, we were not planning on staying very long. I told her I just wanted to run in and see if I could find anything. And as soon as I walked through the door, I was like in shock because almost the entire building was nothing but shoes. There were shoes everywhere. And the first bin that I was digging in, I found a pair of amazing, like, well, I found a J. Crew boot. And I was like, I've got to find the other one. It was absolutely beautiful. I couldn't find that one. But I did find another pair of J. Crew boots. But I just couldn't leave. And she, her back was hurting, so she had her boyfriend come get her. And I stayed for multiple hours. And I paid for it dearly the next morning when I had to roll out of bed because my back was stiff. I like to dig in the lower, the, the floor bins is what I call them. They're like cardboard boxes. And typically they have the best stuff in them from my experience. So I usually focus on those first and then I will focus on the blue bins unless my back's hurting and then I don't even bother with the cardboard bins. So, all right, I will go ahead and start showing you what all I got. All of these things, most all of these things are already listed in my Poshmark closet. I have to take a, photos of a couple things that I cleaned and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first pair of shoes that I picked up were these Mural Clay Boots. These are really cute. They are in excellent condition. Um, I spent $52 at the bin. So at the end of the video, I will calculate how much I paid for each pair. I also have two pairs that came from another store, which I will share with you as well. So um, these are a size eight, good size. Um, but yeah, these are in really good shape and I'm, I've already got these listed in my Poshmark closet. Um, I will try to put the comps over here somewhere. I may use um, Cellhound today or Poshmark. It just depends on which one I can find the most accurate results on. So these, good find. All right, so the next pair were these. These are Halogen. I've never picked up Halogen shoes, I don't believe. And these are size eights and they have real fur, printed calf hair. Um, I had to repair these because this part right here, the leather, I had to glue it back because on both shoes. Um, but this is really cute. It's like a loafer. You know, there's some wear on the leather, you know, on the fur, but not too terrible. Um, and of course the bottom, you can tell they've been worn quite a lot, but these are really cute and I could not leave those behind. All right, so the next pair of shoes that I picked up were these Jack Rogers. These ones, I just used saddle soap on these, trying to get these toe prints out, but I don't think I'm gonna be successful. They look a lot like darker in the lighting than when I'm looking right at them. Like looking at them, they look like it actually cleaned it very well. So that's a little strange. So I don't know. Um, what is your opinion? Le leave me a comment below telling me what your opinion is on people who sell shoes with toe prints in them. Like, does it bother you? Do you sell shoes like that? I mean, obviously if you scrub them and clean them, they're clean, but um, I've heard a lot of strong opinions against and for, so I'd love to know what your opinion is. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm still debating. Maybe I'll wait for y'all's comments before I make a decision. <laughs> All right, the next pair are these Mephistos. These ones are another one that I've been trying to scrub up and clean. These are size 39s. They are very dark, as you can see. Um, you don't really see toe print in them because they're so dark, um, but they are the, your big toe goes in this hole. I don't know if you can really see them very well. I can't see because there's shade all over my screen. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, but regardless, I mean, they're in good shape. There's a little bit of wear right there on the um, cork compared to this side. So I don't know if that's gonna affect anything, but um, yeah, I grabbed these cause I mean, honestly, they're in pretty good shape. I might just keep them. I could probably fit my size 10s and a size nine, maybe. We'll see. I don't mind wearing shoes that have wear. Um, the next pair were these Michael Kors. They're Kors Michael Kors. Obviously you can tell they are a little bit older. Um, I haven't seen this label in a while. These are size 10, made in Italy, and they are like a suede. It has like that loafer look to the front of it, but they are slingbacks. And they're in really good condition. I mean, honestly, this right here just needs to be popped out some. But when you wear it, it'll, you know, fix that. But, um, yeah, no real issues. Just the bottoms have wear. So I grabbed these. 
Okay, these did not come from the bins. These came from his house, but I had to get them. These are Peter Fox, and they're like a Victorian-style suede leather boot. These are amazing. They have like the lace-up. I love these types of shoes. I just bought a white pair the other day, which were poppies, and my daughter, my 10-year-old, claimed them. She loves them, so now she's getting into style. She says she wants to be fashionable, so, um, but this is them i'm assuming you can see them really really pretty um, i'm not sure where i'm gonna list these at i have not researched these and i will probably do that today and they're size 11 so they would actually fit me but i don't think my ankle is gonna fit in those because that's a very small ankle all right and then another pair of lace-ups i buy lace-up boots because they seem to sell pretty quickly for me so a lot of these vintage um, ankle boots do. These are naturalizers. So these are vintage naturalizers, but they are a leather boot, lace up, really cute. Um, and these are a size eight, but they are brown leather, really good for fall. All right, the next item are these core keys. These are a pair of wedge sandals. I know it's going into fall now, but as I've said before, you know, the South, it doesn't get cold. People are gonna still be buying this. People who are in Florida, they'll be buying stuff like this, probably Texas as well. Um, but yeah, core keys, and these are a size, hmm, I don't know, size eight. Yep, size eight, so. All right, the next pair are another pair of Mephistos. I think somebody donated all of their Mephistos because they were all size 39. Um, this is like a patent leather. I guess it's patent leather, yeah. And these aren't as bad as the other ones when it comes to the darkness, but you really can't see the toe prints as well in these, which I guess is a good thing. Um, but, I mean, they're in great shape. So I decided to make them mine. All right, so these are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell. I forget the name of them, but they are like a lace-up cutout wedge. They have like the peep toe, really cute. Um, comps on these were kind of all over the place, but I will just show the average price. These are really neat, and I'm hoping somebody wants them. Um, yeah, and these are size, what size are you? Uh-oh. Well, tell me I don't have a size it's probably back here oh yeah size nine with a lot of shoes and boots especially you may not be able to find a size if you just unzip and look around the zippers sometimes that's where they hide them and that has been the case here recently for a lot of shoes that I've picked up especially the boots all right, so these are a pair of Adventure on, they are by J41. I thought they were interesting looking. They're in really good condition. And these are like a suede clog with their fur lined, um, really nice. And I think I listed these for like 40 or 35. These are size 41, so they're size 11, I believe. Um, they're really cute. So they kind of remind me of Dansko's in a way. Speaking of dance goes, we've got a pair. Um, these are a pair of red Mary Jane type sandal dance go. These are a size, oh goodness, 37. So these are sevens, um, but these are in really good shape. They have like a little bit of white distressing on the leather, but they are a red, a dark red. All right, the next pair that I picked up are these Uggs. These are really cute in excellent condition as well. Um, I forgot the name of these, but these are size nine and they're a cute little wedge. All right, I'll show you these boots real quick. These came from Palmetto Thrift. Now I was so excited when I found these um, these are a pair of fry boots. Um, you can usually tell because of the little engraving right there. So let me tell you about these boots. I saw them at Palmetto Thrift. I was about to leave and I glanced and I saw, them. I was like, wait, those look like, you know, quality. So I walked over and sure enough, they were fry. 
they were only four fifty, right? And I was like, something's not right. So I get in the car and I'm looking I'm like these are in excellent condition. Usually that that thrift store usually jacks their prices up on stuff like this. Like they would have been like sixty bucks, right? So I'm looking at them when I get home and I open it up and I will show you. I'm assuming they did this, but in here you got some markings and then they have this right here. I was looking in the light because you can still see it and it says not for resale, uh, sample, not for resale. There's no size in these, um, but these were samples. So they were never um, sold on the floor. I cannot find any online that looked just like this with the harness. So I'm pretty sure this was just a sample. I don't think there's any more like this, so I don't really know what to call it. I went ahead and listed it. My daughter, she tried them on. She said they're probably a six and a half to seven. So I measured everything and I put, I think I put six and a half just to be on the safe side. Um, it kind of sucks whenever you don't have a size in a shoe at all because, you know, um, you don't want to upset a buyer if they get it and it's nowhere close to what you said it was. Um, I've had that happen with a pair of coach shoes. They the size was wore down on it so i measured and i went onto a website that said oh well this is how what size this is if it's in inches yada 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 it was wrong so i ended up letting her keep the shoes um because she wanted to return them i didn't feel like dealing with the hassle but so these are in excellent shape um i listed them high just because they're brand new basically i don't think they've really ever been worn probably by a model for pictures and that was it so yeah um, liking those. All right, the next pair are a pair of Cole Haan. So these are a pair of patent leather Cole Haan. These are like their waterproof rain shoes is what they're called. These are size sixes as well. They're small. Um, they have like a little wedge on them. They are the Nike Air Collab. So these are real pretty. These will be nice for rainy weather apparently, but um, I think I've already listed them and I have not got any engagement yet. So I like these. If they were my size, I would wear them. They're cute. They got like a little buckle right here. All right. The next pair are these Danskos. I forgot what the names of these were. I need to go back through my closets. I've sold these before. But these are like a mule clog. Um, these are size 39, so they're size 9. But these are in excellent shape. I think the other one does have a little bit of wear. Or not wear, but just a little, you know, distressing on the leather. Um, I should probably polish it up some, but I just let it be. All right, the next shoe are these Naotes. I love finding Naote. They do sell really well. Um, it's N-A-O-T. These are size 7s. They're 37s, but they're in excellent shape as well. The cork is in really good shape, and they kind of remind you of Birkenstocks, and the toe, toe is actually pretty clean compared to some that we've seen. I just realized I'm going to have to go to the other room because I'm missing some of the shoes. <laughs> um, all right, so let's talk about these boots right here. So these are J. Crew. These are a suede boot. Now, I used saddle soap on these last night because I noticed there was some dark spots in the, the suede and I could not figure out how to get rid of that. In fact, they're still there, I think. Hold on. Yeah, so there's dark spots on the suede. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting. I'm just going to sell them as is. I mean, it kind of looks like maybe somebody just went down. You know, sometimes with suede, you can you know, rub your hand over it and it'll darken and then you can go back up and it'll lighten. It's what it looks like. So I'll note that in the description, but, but they're in such great shape that I did not want to leave them behind. And honestly, I didn't even notice the darkness. I thought it was just normal for the boot. I think it's these ones. Honestly, I think a lot of them, they did get cleaned. A lot of them did get cleaned, but let's see. Can you see right here that darkness? Yeah. So these are size, oh, I have no idea. These are size eights. I could not find any like these online. So I'll have to research a little bit more. Um, but yeah, they do have some dark spots on the suede. I don't have suede cleaner. I don't know if that'll make a difference. 
If you think so, let me know in the comments and I'll just run up to CVS and get some. But it was like $10 for a suede cleaner. I was like, geez, that's a little pricey just to clean some suede. But um, next is another pair of Uggs. So these are a pair of Ugg Thog sandals. These are size eights as well. These are in really good shape too. They have like the fur under here or fleece, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so I grabbed these. All right, so these are a pair of Soul Sauna. I'll let you see that. Soul Sauna. Um, I'd never heard of this brand before. I'm not sure if this is leather. I don't really know. It doesn't say. But it's just a pair of like kind of chunky looking black sandals. I thought they were kind of cool. So I grabbed them. And the comps for this brand itself look decent. I couldn't find this exact shoe though. All right, and these are a pair of Minnetonkas. These are the cleanest Minnetonka moccasins that I have ever found. These are like driving moccasins or driving loafers, whatever you want to call them. Um, they have the rubber sole, but they have the Thunderbird on the front. Um, obviously, Minnetonkas don't really go for a lot, not that, I, not that I've noticed recently. These are seven and a halfs, um, but they're very, very clean. I have picked up a couple that are extremely dirty and I thought, oh, I would be able to clean them and I ended up not being able to get all that dirt out. So I ended up redonating those. It happens a lot. All right, these are a pair of Bionics and these are just a slide. Really cute. These are Santos is the name of the style. Um, I probably should use some cleaner on that. I didn't even see that. That doesn't show up in my pictures, I don't think. Anyway, there's that. Oh, I'll be right back. I have one more. Okay, I had to run and go get the other bag of boots. I, I was like, where's all the boots? <laughs> all right, so the next pair are these Uggs. These are the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Awareness Boots. They sold these at Nordstrom Rack. Um, these are in great shape. There's a couple little spots of discoloration on them, but they're this, um, like a shiny material and i guess it is suede well they're suede back here this is more of a fabric feel but they've got the pink fleece really really cute and these are size eights i believe yep size eight all right the next shoes are these vince commutos these are like over the knee heels they're in excellent shape except these straps underneath are shedding. I hate when that happens. Have you ever bought shoes that have like shedding on them? I usually just kind of clean it all off completely and it's just like the fabric. Um, but yeah, so these are really nice. The other shoe has a little tiny spot on the inner heel where it's kind of gouged out, but I listed that in my description. Regardless, still a good, good pair of shoes. These ones I've got to polish up, but these are earth boots. Um, these are the Tabithas. They are black leather. And these are size nine and a half. I got a lot of larger sizes because um, typically I only find little, you know, small sizes. All right. And the next pair of boots that I picked up were these. And I think this is the last pair. Yeah, this was the last pair of boots. Um, these are Born, the Crown Collection. These are excellent condition, like brand new condition. And these have, they, they retail for over $260, I believe, on the website. They are sold out. There are none listed on Poshmark right now, so I listed mine high. Um, these are a size, I'm pretty sure they're a size 6. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. So I believe these are a size six. Um, they have like the foam in them. These, whoever had them took very, very good care of them. But I list these higher on Poshmark because there were none and other ones had sold for a decent price as well. Um, so yeah, these, great find. And yeah, that's it. I, I did buy one shoe. This is a Vionic and I, I couldn't find the other one, but I ended up buying this one like a dummy. So I have one Vionic. That is really cute. It's got like the, 
I forget what you call this right here. It always reminds me of the powder my grandma used to use because it had that same coloring on it. All right, guys, so that was everything that I picked up from the Goodwill bins. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, be sure to give me a like before you leave. It helps the channel out a great deal. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Um, I also have a giveaway that you can find down a couple videos below. I will link it in the description as well. Or you can just head to my website, AllieBethany.com, and it's going to be the last post that I posted. <laughs> and it's a dress form mannequin like this. I'm going to be giving away a mannequin. This dress right here, though, let me tell you, I got this dress for $2, and I'm so excited. I'm going to sell this. It's like, like the micro floral kind of. It's real pretty. Um, it needs a belt though, so I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. But anyway, it's going to be a dress form mannequin I will be giving away. I will be doing the drawing on October 8th and announcing the winner on my Instagram channel. So I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.